More details are emerging about a stabbing in Crosby that left one woman dead and her brother in custody. Sarah Winkleman joins us live in the Brainerd studio with the latest. Sarah? Thanks, Dennis. Now 37-year-old David Michael Ote had his first appearance in Crow Wing County Court today where he was charged with second-degree intentional murder. According to the criminal complaint, Ote left his house in Cambridge, Minnesota early Saturday morning and drove up to meet his sister, who worked in the kitchen at the Hartwood Senior Living Center in Crosby. Upon his unannounced and unexpected arrival, his sister let him in the building and he helped her prepare food for about 30 minutes when suddenly Ote took out a knife and began stabbing his sister. According to the criminal complaint, a co-worker called law enforcement around 8 Saturday morning, and when the first officer arrived, Ote was kneeling on the floor. The defendant complied with the officer and was arrested at the scene. The victim, Danielle Marie Johnson, was pronounced dead at the scene, and a later autopsy determined her cause of death to be blood loss due to multiple stab wounds to the body and sharp forced trauma wounds to the neck. According to the criminal complaint, Ote gave a statement after his arrest where he confessed to killing his sister and also stated he was thinking of killing other individuals as well. In a statement to Lakeland News, Hartwood Senior Living Center said they are providing counseling to employees and emotional support to the residents and their families. Dennis? All right, thank you very much, Sarah, for the live report from our Brainerd studio. Ote is scheduled to be back in court on January 29th for a Rule 8 hearing. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.